Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here and I'm getting ready to test this little puppy. It's the DJ, DJI Phantom 2. I got it last week and I uh, finally uh, got it. Actually, technically I got it on Tuesday when I came back from uh, Vegas. So I'm going to show you how to put it together and actually we're going to do some flying stuff here. The first few tests, I actually I already tested it, I broke a wing already. Apparently that happens a lot. So here's, here's basically what it is. You got the DJI Phantom, you got the battery here. And then of course you got a series of propellers, which I got in my pocket. Uh, two black top propellers, two gray top propellers. And the reason why is because they're opposite of each other. As you can see the, the fold wings, uh, the wings uh, of this blade are actually opposite on the gray ones. And they, and they need to be two gray, two black for this to operate correctly if you put all four black and or all four gray on the DGA phantom is gonna go completely hog wild so so basically here we go we're gonna take the uh, battery we're gonna throw it into the DJI and that's ready the blades there's not much uh, not much to worry about you'll need a, you'll need the special wrench to take them off but you end up spinning them one way and I think it's clockwise maybe it's counterclockwise there we go so we have one propeller on we'll get the other three and like I said, it's a, it's a black propeller, then gray propeller. And I gotta go the other way with that. And that comes on. You don't need to tighten them. They'll self-tighten and you'll definitely need the wrench to take them off, that's for sure. And then this one I believe will go this way. Nope, goes this way. And it's on. And then the last one. And that's on right there. Now all four propellers. This is all ready to go. Now, here's the thing. I don't have the gimbal for the GoPro. I'm gonna be getting that. I tried to actually make a Megshift GoPro hookup. That really didn't work. I'd have to go downstairs, do a little bit more work on that. But basically to turn it on, you press this button once and then you hold it two seconds. So we're gonna to touch it once and then you see the battery and then we're gonna hold it for two seconds. And now we know that it's on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it in the middle of the field here, and then you pull out the controller, which I've already done all the, uh, I've already done all the uh, uh, calibration to it. So uh, this should be able to fly from here. This is the uh, remote control. This is the 2.4 gigahertz remote control. You can get 2.4 or you can get five gigahertz remote control. Uh, simply to get this going, you turn it on, power light comes on, and then you take these two controllers and you point them towards themselves like this. And the drone starts like that. It's ready to go. And if I pull up up here, that means it's ready to fly. And now it's flying. Pretty cool, eh? This is sitting there until I bring it back down. And now it's in stasis mode until I do this and now it's completely turned off. So let's give this a couple tries and see what happens. I can turn it. 365 degrees, either way. I can go forward with it. I can go backward with it. I can go left or right. I'll bring it back down to safety. It's actually out of my, this is my first field try. So this is actually, uh, I, I'm, I'm doing this pretty, well, nice, nice and easy. I'm not, I'm not running any races by any means. But as you can see, I'm, I'm getting a hang of the uh, controls pretty well. As long as you know how the controller works, and this is how the controller works. If you, uh, if you pull up like that, it goes up in the air. If you pull down, it comes back down. If you go left or right, it turns on this side of the controller. On this side of the controller, you go forward, you go backward, and of course you can turn left or right. And as long as you don't jolt them by any means, it should be fine. So let's see if we can get a safe landing here.
And there's a nice safe landing. That's pretty cool. So let's get this back up and going. Whoop. Like I said, uneven ground. Now this is not an outdoor condition, well, it's a somewhat outdoor condition drone because uh, it says that you're not supposed to, uh, not supposed to do it in the rain or, or in climate weather, snow and stuff like that. And as you can see, it's turning fall and, and the snow, snow will fly in the next couple months. This is a very beautiful day that I got to do this. So I took advantage of that day to get it done and have some fun with this puppy. This is perfect for when I want to uh, blow the leaves on my yard. I can just go forward and bring it down as, as low as possible. Look at that. Watch the leaves go. I can put it back in the box if I wanted to. I gotta take the propellers off to do that, so a lot of fun. And I'm guessing once I have something like a, like a GoPro on here, uh, it will definitely uh, it'll definitely weigh itself out so it doesn't fall over like that. So that's basically the GoPro or the Phantom. I'm sorry, <laughs> did I say GoPro? That's that's basically the Phantom, DJI Phantom 2. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, I'm gonna do some more flying. You can watch watch as I go. Geek out, guys.